All right, ladies and gentlemen. I recently saw a question that, what in your opinion is the best conjunction for profession? Is it the conjunction of the Lagna Lord and 10th Lord? Or is it the Lagna Lord, 5th Lord? Or what is it, right? How do I know that a particular conjunction can yield extreme benefits in the career, right? So what I found in my research is, of course, we all have these standard rules of astrology that a planet in the 10th house is very good for profession. A planet in the 6th is good. A planet in the 11th is good. A planet in the Lagna can also give name fame. But what we do not understand is that there are also planets in general, irrespective of where they are placed, they can give very good rise in profession. Okay, So one such planet is actually Mars. And who is the other planet? It's Mercury. Why do I say this? Because Mars and Mercury, you see, what is Mars? You got to understand, right? Mars is the lord of the Lagna in the Kalpurush Kundli because Mars lords Aries, right? So Aries, uh, the lord of a zodiac sign, will tell you the physical manifestations related to that particular house, okay? And the Karaka of a particular house tells you what is the most important uh, quality of that house, which may be physical, uh, metaphysical, it, it could be abstract, it could be intellectual, it could be emotional, or it could be anything else. It may not necessarily be physical, right? But it tells you what you need to get ahead in life, right? So who is the Karaka for the 10th house? The Karaka for the 10th house is primarily Mercury. And then we also have Saturn, we also have Sun, some also say Jupiter is also a card for the 10th house. But in general, all astrologers and holy, uh, our ancient texts agree that Sun, Mercury and Saturn are the Karkas and Mercury is the primary Karka among all of them. So therefore, one is the first house, one is the uh, Lagna Lord, uh, one is the Lord of the house, right, which gives the physical manifestations which is Mars for the first house. And then we have Mercury, which is the Karaka for the 10th house. So, so when the Karaka combines with the physical uh, manifestations of our life, then we do good not only in uh, terms of our profession, but in, in any area of life. See, um, the thing is, even I had done an interview with Ryan Kurzak long back, uh, he said that uh, one planet which he always sees is you know, Mercury, right? And he had also spoken, uh, if I remember, about Mars and Mercury. But what you want to understand is that Mars is the fire and Mercury is the intelligence. So whenever uh, Mars and Mercury are combined in a horoscope, which means they are sitting together, or they are in Parivartan, or they are mutually aspecting each other, right? Or even if Mars aspects Mercury, because it's possible that Mars could aspect Mercury, but Mercury may not aspect Mars, right? So the tighter the conjunction, the uh, better it is. And we know Parivartan Yoga is the strongest form of yoga, right? So if it is a Parivartan, which means Mars is sitting in the sign of Mercury and Mercury is sitting in the sign of Mars, then it's a very strong yoga. And then if it is conjunction, which is the second best yoga, which means they are together in any house, then also it is extraordinary. Now, when you talk of being extraordinary, it, it can refer to not only profession, but it uh, not necessarily always profession. It can refer to a particular area of life. So for example, if Mars and Mercury are conjunct uh, in the uh, fifth house, for example, then it's possible that the person may not have too much interest in the profession, but the person might uh, have very good uh, intelligence when it comes to creativity, finances, and all this, right? About uh, speculation, about uh, singing, dancing, or cooking, any form of creativity, basically. And it could uh, also happen that the person is very well connected to uh, their uh, subordinates, to their descendants, right? To their children. And of course, if this conjunction is happening in, in the uh, money houses, which, uh, which is actually the, the second house, sixth house, the 10th house and the 11th. So 
So these forces, then specifically this, this refers to great professional gains, okay? And you may not have this yoga literally, you may not have Mars, Mercury together, but if suppose Mercury is your 10th Lord and Mars is aspecting Mercury from somewhere, even then the 10th house is associated, right? So the 10th Lord, which is Mercury, um, is receiving uh, the aspect of Mars, even though Mercury or Mars uh, may not be sitting in the 10th house, they may be sitting in the third house, sixth house, eighth house, anywhere, right? But, or the other way around, uh, Mars is uh, Mars is the 10th Lord and Mercury is aspecting Mars, right? Which means Mars uh, and Mercury are mutually aspecting each other because Mercury aspects only the seventh house and Mars also aspects the seventh. So it's but natural that if Mercury is aspecting Mars, then Mars is by default aspecting Mercury. So, so now, and if this conjunction is in the ascendant itself, then it can show that a person is very uh, skilled in every area of life. Okay, Every area doesn't mean literally every area, but especially the person is very good in uh, maneuvering through challenges, difficulties, and trials and tribulations. It doesn't mean that the person will not have challenges, but the person will be able to go through or cut through challenges in life. So uh, if you are searching for an employee or an assistant who has to do a lot of difficult things, right? Who has to somehow find a solution, then maybe hypothetically, if you know their horoscope and they have a Mars Mercury conjunction, maybe you should consider them. And uh, if this conjunction is in the uh, houses of marriage, like second, seventh, and 11, then the person could be very uh, expert in uh, carrying out the marital life dealings, right? I mean, very expert in dealing with the family, with the in-laws, can navigate problems, does what is required, right? So these are the good sides, right, uh, of Mars and Mercury connection, uh, but there are also some negative sides, right? Negative in the sense, the dark sides, basically. So uh, one of the most commonly seen dark side is they may be too greedy sometimes, okay? So if, especially if they are in the money houses, right? Mars and Mercury are in the second, sixth, tenth, or eleven. Especially in the eleventh, among them, it can uh, make a person too much greedy sometimes, and because of that, they might want to take shortcuts. Okay, of course, uh, this this will only happen if uh, the person has a bad Jupiter, has a bad Lagnesh, has a bad fifth lord, bad ninth lord. Only then this will happen. Otherwise, it's not that anybody who has Mars Mercury conjunction in the Artha houses, in the money houses, uh, they will all, all be crooks and liars and thieves. It doesn't mean that. Okay. But it simply means that if the overall horoscope is not good, then they may be tempted to earn money very quickly, very fast. And that may not be something which is very good, right? So, therefore, whenever Mars and Mercury are together, um, these people, they can actually navigate through challenges in life and they they're very determined to find a way basically right so mars is determination and mercury is finding a way to certain things so therefore if they are in managerial positions they are very diplomatic and they can uh, get their work done through the subordinates right they can also get their work done from the seniors if they're in the government they are very expert in dealing with different laws and customs and traditions within the government and they can uh, get their work done right so whichever house they are placed or whichever how whichever axis they are expecting uh, you will get the benefits according to uh, that particular axis or that house okay so for example if mercury and mars are in the third and the ninth house uh, so then this is a three nine axis right so you will be very proficient in uh, speaking, you'll be very proficient in uh, learning, right? So learning and speaking will be very good. But for profession, you need to check if this conjunction is somehow directly best or indirectly, at least, linked to the lords of the 2nd, 6th, 10th or 11th. Or there's there itself happening in these houses, right? So for example, uh, the Mars, Mercury, Axis, uh, if they are not conjunct, then they are, you know, in 2nd and 8th, 4th, 10th, 6th, 12th, 5th, 11th. So that then somehow, even if they are not conjunct, at least one of them is associated with some, uh, one of the Artha houses. So then also there can be very good rise in profession. And now the question is, when will be the rise, right? So 
the answer is very simple during either mercury or mars dasha right so if you are if you get mars mahadasha then there can be rise in profession and if you get mercury mahadasha then also there can be rise in profession or there could be a rise in profession in general if you have a planet which is in the 6th or 10th or 11th and the mahadasha or the antadasha has started so in general there could be a rise and within that so suppose you have sun in 10th house right and you have uh, not 10th house suppose sun is in 11th mercury is in 12th and mars is in the 6th house so in the 6th 12th axis uh, there is this uh, conjunction of um, um, I mean, the mutual aspect of Mars and Mercury, right? So now you are not running the Mahadasha of Mars or Mercury, but you are running the Mahadasha of Sun. So, but then Sun is also in the 11th house, right? So therefore, it will give you rise in profession. Now within Sun Mahadasha, whenever Sun and uh, Mercury Antardasha will come or Mars Antardasha will come, then there will be extraordinary rise in the profession, okay? Uh, of course, subject to all other conditions within the horoscope, all right? So, therefore, this is a very extraordinary combination. And many times I have seen uh, whenever people, they, they want to know if they will have extraordinary money in their life. I always see, do they have this conjunction? Of course, it doesn't mean that if you don't have this conjunction, you are doomed and you will not make any money. It doesn't mean that, all right? But, it def but having this conjunction definitely gives you an extra edge provided you use it in the right way and on the wrong side it can also go to like cheating others um, yeah money laundering it can go to like financial fraud forgery uh, and yeah a hell lot of other things basically all of them are negative all right so therefore if you just see that somebody has this conjunction don't just blindly tell them oh wow you're going to be a millionaire but they may default on a million dollars right they may they may abscond right like even in india we have uh, famous examples of people who have absconded to uk us and to other countries of the world by taking a lot of money of course uh, i'm not saying that all of them have this conjunction but what i'm trying to tell you is just because you see this conjunction do not brand somebody as uh, as somebody who is sure very sure okay they may be very they may be but it depends on their horoscope if the good side will come out or the bad side will come out, all right? So, uh, in a sense, having this conjunction does not guarantee that you will make a lot of money. Neither does it guarantee you will uh, steal a lot of money, all right? So, at the end, you always have to do a comprehensive analysis and check the basic parameters like uh, the Lagna Lord, Sun, Jupiter, Moon, all this you have to check. And the 10th house, 10th Lord, you have to check the Dashamsha chart and also the Navamsha chart, because they will tell you the original strength of the planets, right? From the Lagna itself, you can't just find out. You can get an idea of what will be the circumstances which will uh, surround this person, right? But you can't get the idea of the final result that will uh, come from just the Lagna chart. So for that, you need to go to the D9 and to the D10. And that's how you can actually understand what is the power of this conjunction because there are many people who will have this conjunction but not everybody will be a millionaire or a billionaire right but having this conjunction can open doors for you because you have the courage and the skill or rather you can develop it if required all right thank you very much for your patience if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and uh, if you want a consultation please go to my website which will also be down in the description section God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him.